Welcome to the German Masterclass. In today's tutorial, we will talk about word formation of professions, or as we say in German, Wortbildung der Berufe. On the top left corner, we can see a woman holding some books standing in the classroom. Classroom. So she's obviously a teacher. In German, a masculine teacher would be der Lehrer. Der Lehrer. If it's a woman, we say die Lehrerin. So all we need to do is we have to uh, put the ending in behind the word, the masculine word. In plural, we say die Lehrer. If it's masculine, a group of male teachers. And uh, for a group of female teachers, we would say die Lehrerinnen. So again, all we need to do is add the ending I-N-N-E-N -N -E -N behind the word. Let's have a look at the engineer. Uh, in German, the engineer is der Ingenieur. And if it's a woman, we say die Ingenieurin. So the same rule. And in plural, we say die Ingenieure. So Ingenieure has a little uh, different ending than Lehrer. And if it's female, die Ingenieurinnen. So the E goes away and all we need to do is put again the ending I-N-N -N behind it. Uh, we also want to have a look at the woman below. She's a lawyer. In German, it is der Anwalt and uh, die Anwältin. So here, does not only the ending I-N come with the word, we also need to change the vowel. And if it's plural, we say die Anwälte or die Anwältinnen. So what I would recommend to you is just to uh, learn the words. Uh, you don't always have to come up with your own version by adding the uh, ending I-N or I-N-N-E-N -N -E -N for the female um, uh, professions. Uh, but if you don't know how to do it, you might just try by using the endings I-N or I-N-N-E-N. -N -E -N. But there are also some exceptions. So here on the right hand side, we have two pictures. The first one is a banker. And in German, we say der Bankkaufmann. Der Bankkaufmann. And if it's a woman, we say die Bankkauffrau. And also another group is der Krankenpfleger, so this would be a male nurse, and die Krankenschwester, it's a female one. So the best way is probably just to practice uh, these names uh, by heart, to, re to remember them by heart, but sometimes you, uh, these rules help you to find the right uh, word if you never heard of it before, uh, or you just want to come up with it uh, in a conversation. Now let's practice this uh, with some examples. So the very first picture here we see is the engineer on the top left corner. Uh, so we already practiced that. It's a man, so it would be der Ingenieur. The next one is a mechanic. He's uh, obviously uh, lying below a car and repairing something. So the mechanic in German is der Mechaniker. Uh, the third one, he's a, a man standing on a stage, so he's an actor. In German, that would be der Schauspieler. Der Schauspieler. The next one is a student. In German, der Student. And picture number five, uh, she is actually a journalist. In German, die Journalistin. The next one is a hairdresser, the Friseurin. The picture number seven is an architect, a woman, the Architektin. Then we have the secretary, the Sekretärin. One more time, the nurse, the ah no, it's not a nurse, it's a doctor, so she's uh, the Ärztin. And then we have uh, a teacher, one more time, der Lehrer. The next one is a salesman. He's selling some food on the market, der Verkäufer. And the last one is the woman in the green shirt. She's a waitress 
and that's in German, die Kellnerin. Now I would like to have a look at how we use the professions in the German language uh, when we want to say what we actually do for a living. To do that, we will do a little exercise. On the next slide, you can see three different sentences or the beginning of three different sentences. The question is, was machst du beruflich? What do you do for a living? And yeah, so one way to answer would be by starting with ich bin. So you could say ich bin Lehrer, ich bin Student, ich bin Mechaniker. Uh, what you also can do is you can say what you learned as a profession. So for example, if you would be uh, uh, working as a waiter, you could say ich bin Gastronom oder ich bin Fachwirt in Gastronomie. So this would be the job or the profession that you learned. The next one would be ich arbeite als, which is pretty similar to ich bin, uh, but uh, you could be something else and work. Uh, so you could be actually a gastronom, but uh, do, would have another profession. Um, so for example, you could be um, a restaurant manager, but here it's just a waiter. So I would say ich arbeite als, Kellner. Ich bin Gastronom. Ich arbeite als Kellner. Ich arbeite bei, uh, so where you work at. Ich arbeite bei McDonald's, for example. Or ich arbeite in einem Restaurant. I work in a restaurant. Yeah, this is pretty, uh, pretty much all behind it. So if you want to talk about your profession, you can use these expressions. I hope uh, this lesson helped you to understand this a little bit better and I hope to see you soon in the next lesson from the German masterclass.